The first detector picking up smoke initiates a first stage alert. The first stage alert sends a signal to the air conditioning system, which immediately stops air movement within the protected area. This enables the other point smoke detectors to respond faster to the source of the fire. It also activates a sounder within the computer suite and relays the alert to the house fire alarm system. The conventional smoke detectors are also located within the ceiling and floor voids. When a detector locates a fire, this is signaled to the remote fire alarm indicators fitted on the walls just above floor level and below ceiling level to allow quick location of the fire source. When a smoke detector on a second zone picks up smoke, the second stage alarm activates. This is effectively confirmation that a fire is in progress and that the suppression gas must be released. The second stage alarm activates audible and visual alarms inside the computer suite, shuts off the power supply and closes all fire dampers in the room. At this point, a 30 second time delay starts, allowing anyone inside the room to leave before the imogen fire suppression gas is released. Paper strips attached to the ceiling near to the Inogen gas nozzle show the rush of gas into the room. Visibility within the room is totally unimpaired by the presence of Inogen. As the Inogen gas is released, the flame in the safety lamp is quickly extinguished. Without this visual clue, the only evidence of its presence is that the fire has been extinguished and the oxygen level on the analyzer is reading 15%. Even though staff enter the room and some gas escapes, the inogen remains effective. People present within the room can breathe quite normally. But find that matches still cannot be lit.